Hello, this is a presentation of Artificial Intelligence Chatbot for the new Blackboard Ultra system. The chatbot is available right off the welcome page and uh, the chatbot is useful in answering questions to support uh, faculty. A very common question is, how do I make my course available? So faculty might ask something like, uh, my students I cannot see my course and uh, then they're engaged by the chatbot or perhaps something like um, I received uh, uh, an email from one of my students and he cannot see the course what can I do so through natural language we're able to discern the intent of the faculty now in the past, faculty could have searched this kind of a question uh, through a web browser. So they might have navigated to Google and then asked, uh, uh, how do I make my course available? At that point, uh, they would rephrase it, of course, uh, and we're trained in doing that. However, uh, the responses that come back would be from multiple universities and uh, possibly for multiple uh, systems. Now let's say that uh, the faculty specify uh, an actual um, organization. Uh, yes, we would have uh, an answer. Uh, however, uh, it, is, it will be important for faculty to be able to discern what is their specific situation. They would have to troubleshoot uh, their situation based on the narrative that is provided in uh, one of our uh, FAQs. And some of these FAQs require study. They require attention to really understand what are the next steps. So let's see how the chatbot might handle uh, this situation. So let me try to help. Uh, can you see your course in Blackboard? And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, answer no. Now this is a key piece of information because if the faculty cannot see their own course, well, there is a lot to be fixed here. Possibly the course is not even created. And so we stop the conversation right here and we um, encourage faculty to contact us. However, if the faculty, um, let's go ahead and uh, ask the question again. If the faculty say, yes, I can see my course, uh, next we need to know uh, whether or not uh, there's at least one student who can see the course. So is it possible that uh, many students uh, do not see the course, but there's at least one who does? Uh, and so this tells us exactly what we need to tell faculty. So if we say, yes, there is a student, uh, at least one student that uh, can see the course, uh, but some students do not. Well, at that point, we know that this is likely related to enrollment, and so a student may not be yet assigned to Blackboard. But let's go ahead and uh, answer it differently. So we're going to say, uh, yes, we can see the course, uh, but then no, uh, none of my students uh, can see the course. Well, then we know that there's action that the, that the faculty have to take, and that is they have to make their course available. So uh, in the Google search, we would have to already be at this point in the conversation to get some, uh, some good results. Uh, but at this point, we have an additional opportunity to ask, uh, are you uh, part of uh, the pilot? Are you part of uh, the, uh, the Ultra system? Or are, is, are you using the original Blackboard experience? And uh, if uh, the faculty responds, uh, it's going to be original. Then we have instructions just for that. And so this is how through a conversation, we can help faculty narrow down what the problem is and then provide a solution. Thank you.